Now, Eyewitness Sports 4 presents your best source for high school sports. New Mexico Game Day, sponsored by McDonald's. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to New Mexico Game Day. If you like high school basketball, you're going to love tonight's show. Let's start things off with our text question of the night. Who is the best girls basketball team in Class 6A right now? Cibola or Clovis? Text NM1 or NM2? Send it to 74574. We're going to have results later in the show. Our guest in studio tonight, the St. Pius girls basketball team. Emily Dietrichs will start the show for us tonight. Emily, tell the viewers who is the first game on the lineup. Tonight we'll start with the St. Pius boys hosting Albuquerque High. I think you know something about one of those teams. Bulldogs with some bite this year. They are 15 and 1 heading into this one. They jumped on top early. Yannick Delunga with the three ball. Starting tongue in there, ladies. Ryan Corcoran. Anybody know this guy? Anybody? Yeah. He nails the three ball. Bulldogs win again, though. The final score 57 to 47. They are now 16 and 1. Rio Rancho and Volcano Vista. Rams like to run. Hawks like to slow it down. That is until tonight. Pick it up in the third. Brady Patterson finds Carlos Sanchez all alone and buries the triple later in the quarter. Caleb Dixon gets the feed, goes baseline for the easy bucket, and the Hawks putting up some points. Then Jose Vigil pulling up from downtown. Hawks over the Rams, 70 to 66. West Mason Rio Grande going at it tonight. Mustangs just came out firing. Drew Wasana, this guy's got range, folks. He knocks down the three in the first quarter. West Mesa started the game with an 18 to five run. At the other end, check out how Jordan Brooks attacks the basket to get two for the Ravens. But West Mesa just kept firing those threes. This time it's Larry Mourinho. Got it. West Mesa with a 10 point win, 70 to 60. Valley Vikings playing host to the Atrisco Heritage Jaguar. And the Vikings going to their big man early. Teton Salties with a short little jumper. Nothing but net on the home floor. Jags countered with the three ball. Johnny Rodriguez, we are calling your name. But the Vikings come from behind for the win. 53-245. Espanola Valley made the trip to Albuquerque for a matchup against Del Norte. Espanola moving the ball. DJ Curtis just eyes it, tries it, and buys it. Del Norte's big man, Dan Delgado, knows how to get some points as well. He gets a steal, and he's going to take it all the way. Why not? You got the rock. Put it in. Yes, gets the roll. Del Norte holds on at home, 69-61. to 61. Let's talk girls basketball. With me right now, St. Pius Sr. and Natalie Zamora. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you so much for having us. Really appreciate it. What kind of year has this been for you, a senior season? You've been lighting up the scoreboard. What has your final season with the Sartans been like? It's been awesome, especially with my team. Like We've been through so much together, and through it all, we all always stick together. And every single day in practice, we always give it 100%. You're going D1, going to play at uh, Fairleigh Dickinson. How did a New Mexico girl end up going to New Jersey? Why did you choose that school? When I went there, everything just really worked out. And my whole family, I have a lot of family who lives there. And my family just loves to travel. And I'm just really excited that I get the chance to have them see me play. And this was signing day a little ways back. What, what was that experience like, you know, knowing that you're going to play at the college level, putting your name on the piece of paper? It was surreal. I can't even explain it. It was the day I've been dreaming of my whole life. Are you more looking forward to the college, or are you more sad that you're going to have to leave high school here pretty soon? It's a little bit of both because it's going to be hard leaving my family and all my friends, but I know that it's going to be something great that I'm never going to forget. You've been with your coach, Phil Griego, for a while. How would you describe him as a coach now that he's sitting in the Raptors who have put him on the spot? Coach Griego is such, has been such an influential figure in my life, and not only on the basketball court, but in my life. He's taught me so many lessons that I'll always be able to use, and I can never thank him enough for everything he's given me. All right, well, good luck the rest of the season, and good luck at the D1 level as well. Thank you so much. Still more hoops to get to, plus another guest in that chair. But first, check out some scores from around the state, including a couple overtime wins. Welcome back to the Volcano Vista Lady Hawks visiting the Rio Rancho Rams tonight. In the first, Melissa Mancha spotting up from downtown and just knocking it down. Later in the quarter, 
Tamira Decker. Let's pass off the inbound. Just puts it home. Tough to defend that. And then some more Mancha again. Strong take to the hole. Hawks hold on for the 45-42 win. La Cueva met up with Manzano tonight. Feature Stanford product. Alexa Romano in the spotlight. Bears on the break. Great interior pass to Kylie Clark. This one was all Bears. I mean all Bears and nothing but La Cueva. Romano with a pump fake. Knockdown jumper. That is why she is so good. Close your eyes if you don't like blowouts. Ouch. 91 to 7 the final count. Sandia hosting Highland. And Kara Liggins doing the driving and the dishing to Marisol Silva for two. How about some more work from Liggins and Silva down low? The combination worked once, right? Do it again. And one. Sandia got the W, 50 to 17. With me right now, St. Pius co captain Juliana Goudele, or Jules, right? We're tight. We can, we can, yeah. we can go by that. <laughs> what, what's your role on this team this year? Um, just to score. Like, my teammates have given me a lot of opportunities to get a lot of three pointers and just a lot of layups, so I'm very grateful for that. How would you describe this team if you had to throw out a couple adjectives to describe this group? Um, they're very energetic. They're always happy, you know, they're just fun loving. Those are good. Those are yeah, all good. They're amazing. You take on Cibola tomorrow, part of our text question poll tonight. What's it going to take to beat a uh, 6A school like Cibola that's playing so well? What do you What do you guys need to do? Uh, great defense. We just got to stop a lot of the key players like Maya Brown. We got to stop Dirt, um, Kristen Dirth. We just got to stop a lot of those players, and we'll do really great if we stop them. What kind of goals did you and the team set at the beginning of the season? Each team always kind of sets, you know, some sort of benchmark they try to get to. What were the goals you guys put out there? Um, just to, like, play great defense because we kind of struggled that, like, um, with that at the beginning of the season. But, like, getting to where we are now, we've uh, gone really great with boxing out and just all the defensive stuff that's just been killing it for us. All right. Well, good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. And thanks for joining us. Earlier tonight, we asked you who is the best girls team in Class 6A right now. You voted and you said Cibola. So, St. Pius ladies, you got your work cut out for you <laughs> tomorrow afternoon against the Lady Cougars. Should be a good game because Cibola is playing well right now. That's going to do it for another edition of New Mexico Game Day. Remember to keep it here for all your high school sports action all season long. And as always, folks, have a good one.